Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is the StockSwissShow.com morning market review of the SPY. It's pre-market. It's 8.36 a.m. Eastern time. Market isn't even open yet, and it's gapping up today. And I just, just, I'm just sitting here, and I just decided to look at the market this morning, and I thought I have to do another video because I just did a video less than, I don't know how many hours ago, less than 24 hours ago. Last night I did a video of the market, and I said the market is setting up and poised to break out higher. It's either going to stair step climb up higher all week over the holiday, or it's just going to break out, break out higher. We're breaking out in the gap right now. You can just see this here in the one minute chart. I, I just called this to happen last night, post market. After market was flat last night. I saw it. I saw the way we acted yesterday, the way we closed. I saw everything. I read it, and the market was flat last night when I did my market video on the spy. And it's open now here in the pre-market morning and I call this to happen. I have an amazing skill to read stuff before it happens. Amazing. And it's all because of the fact that I know how to read gaps. And I knew the market would gap up this morning. It's like 100% conviction. This breakout bar just happened here at 830. Look at this. Look at that. A dollar move there in five minutes between 830 and 835 a.m. here in the SPY. Look at that. Markets are ready retesting this level in here. This prior high back from here on the 5th of December this morning. And the market is so higher. So the market will hit 210 and 212, which were the numbers I gave for the targets. Before the end of the calendar year 2014, market could even hit 210 today. Market is gapping up this morning and falling through higher, and it's a beautiful bullish chart. Again, you know, I just can't say enough about how important it is to read gaps. There are many, many, many different ways to read gaps. That is true. The thing is, though, the way that I figured out how to read them is actually accurate. Most people do not know how to read gaps well. So when people attempt to trade them, they fail. And even if they have some success, it's limited because the way that they're ultimately looking at the gap is improper and correct. And then people tend to shy away from gaps because they just don't understand them. And they are complex. That's why it took me three years to figure the stuff out that I know. But now that I know it, I know it. And, and it's real. And that's how I'm able to predict what things are going to do before they even happen. And I teach a class where I'm teaching people how to do this. So it's not like it's impossible for you to learn how to do this. Some very successful students, actually. And, uh, you know, that is exciting. It's exciting to me. It's, it's, it's touching, actually. It makes it all worthwhile that I have uh, touched so many people's lives in such a demonstrative way to teach them how to trade the U.S. stock market. And I'll continue to do so into 2015. I don't know how long into 2015 I will continue to do the Golden Gap class. But for now, I'm still doing it for the people that want to learn how to trade. So it's an opportunity to come to learn from me because, I, you know, this market has not been easy to call. I mean, I'll be the first to say that every time the market gapped down here, even in the last month or even in here, I double, triple check myself, was rating the market gaps in the SPY and the QQQs just to make sure, uh, rating the bearish gaps, rating the bullish gaps, just to make sure that I was seeing everything correctly. I have a really, really good eye to see things instantaneously before I process and rate them on paper. But... Uh, you know, I do double check myself when I'm actually looking at something and I'm seeing it to make sure and staying within the right information of the reading of the price. And I saw the market would do this and I saw it would continue higher. Unfortunately, a lot of people really caved and believed in all the craziness that was out there that the market was making a top and was going to crash and people exited their long positions in here. And now people don't know how to buy this here because people don't know how to buy gaps. And they think that they're going to wait for the market to pull back into support before they buy it. And if you didn't go long in here, which, you know, many people wouldn't because they thought the market was going to crash, they exited their long positions into the drop. So many people didn't go long right back into here. And, and people won't know how to go long here. And they're going to want to wait for a pullback again. And see, this is going to, what's going to, this is how this is all going to play out. Market's going to keep going higher and rallying. People don't know how to do anything but buy support. And so are most people. So what they do is then the market goes higher. They get the confirmation. Then they wait for it to pull back to support. They miss however much of the move, percentage of the move. And then they wait for it to pull back to support. But then they're unsure of themselves, uncertain. Don't know if it's really done now. They think that the move up might be done. Don't buy into the support. Wait, wait, wait too long. And this is going to keep happening. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This is going to go on for months. This is going to go on all the way into 2015 until at some point, and it's going to be mid, 
mid-2015, towards the end of 2015, summer, fall, 2015. And we'll see how strong the year starts out to really determine you know, how far into that area. But I know that it's going to be mid-2015 until people finally stop shorting the market and accept the fact that it's higher. And then that will make the market just kaboom up even more and probably hit that 300 number that I'm seeing is going to happen. It is going to happen. I mean, it is going to happen. It's really amazing that I can see something like that so far away from this price point here because a number of 300 to hit in the spot is $90, $92 away from the current price trading here of this market. That's amazing to call a number like that because it's very far away from the current price here. And people probably won't buy this gap here today that don't know what to do because, again, they don't know how to do anything like I do. But the fact is that the market's higher. This is a bullish gap up in the market today. Whether intraday we trade immediately higher or slosh around or trade in an hour range day, it doesn't matter. The fact is the market's gapping up this morning, retesting the prior area over here at at 12.5. Can't look at this bar here because it's an anomaly, but the fact is that it very well could hit over that before the end of the year. I'm not saying that it's definitely going to, nor does it have to. I think 2.10 is realistic. Could happen today. Very likely now to get there within the next week, $2 away from that this morning. And just nice, nice fluid activity here in the market to the upside. Beautiful, beautiful breakout here this morning in the first five minutes. You can tell and you can see here the strength and the power of the buying and all of this coming in. Nice volume here in the pre-market too in the SPY. Almost a million and it's only 845 or thereabouts. So again, I saw this last night. It's just amazing how I really just... <sighs> just have such a good eye for seeing what something's going to do. So if you learn how to trade gaps, you can do it all, I'm convinced. Day trading, swing trading, core trading. You use the same strategy. You rate the gap. You use a 26-point rating system. Take my class. Learn how to rate the gap. Determine whether or not it's long or short. Then you know what to do. You use that information. I teach in the class how to figure out the targets. I teach a support and resistance. I know Justin asked me like two weeks ago, Melissa, where are you getting these numbers? How are you giving these targets for the SPY and the Qs? Where are you getting these numbers? Where are you getting any of these numbers for any of the things I've been calling lately for some of these things? You know, that, that when the numbers aren't even on the chart, I, I can just sense the way the price is acting. The best explanation I can give is that I'm honed into how the price is acting. I can tell the strength that's in here, how quickly it's going to hit some of these other numbers. That's what I'm saying. I can see the price, how it's acting live, and... You know, right there. I mean, this is what this is what I'm talking about right here. Like even even the call this last night, the close here, the way we acted last night. I mean, I talked about this. It was a 60 cent range yesterday in the market, with that kind of volume, it, that was stepping right in there yesterday. You see the lift that came in then today. It was like setting the tone here for this to be transpiring this morning. So it's like you know that's how I knew this would happen. So that's how I'm able to see like that some of these numbers are going to be hit, whether they're close or far away. Depending on what's really happening with the money, it's the movement of the money that I'm reading in the price. And it's all because of what I know in gaps. And, and the thing is that when I'm trading, now I'm not in this. I'm not in this long. I'm not trading this here pre-market. I don't do the pre-market. But I'm saying, like, when I'm seeing the one-minute chart here, okay, I'm really, really good at reading the one-minute chart because I learned how to read gaps. And that information has taught me how to be aggressive in the in the one minute there into the open or even reading this stuff here, like this lift off. Like I can train that first five minutes of the day and that tells me so much of what's going to happen. I can read that activity very, very well to know what's going to set up in this and what it should do. I even know like what it should do to know if it's going to follow through or not or if it does something that tells me that it's not going to work which again has to do with taking the proper entries, which is on the one minute chart. You know, institutions are active in the morning. That's why day trading gaps, which is what I do, which is very specialized, makes so much sense for really anyone from any walk of life because you only have to do it for 30 minutes in the morning, 45 minutes an hour at most, and you could do other things with your day. It's like a short, short time that you're gap trading there that you could profit because the moves step in so quickly, so quickly into the open that you can take advantage of them, make the money, book it, Chunk it out, stop, be done, 
go on with your day, do other things. I mean, that's just one of the benefits of gap trading, along with everything else. But I mean, you know, time-wise, time management-wise, to make the money as a day trader, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of time in the morning doing it. But honestly, you know, that's not the best thing about what I figured out. The best thing about what I figured out is that I figured out how to read institutional positioning. And my level of conviction has increased 100% in the last year because I continue to call this market so well when everyone is saying the opposite of what I'm saying. I mean, professional people that are trading the market and that are lecturing about the market and that are on television and the internet that have been trading longer than I'm alive have not called the market as well as me. And that is, you know, it, it's because I really have the right knowledge base. I have such an amazing knowledge base of what to focus on here in the market, and it's the gaps, and it's specifically the way that I'm focusing on them. It's the way that I know how to read them, what I'm looking at to determine what it's doing, that I can call this so well. So it has increased my own conviction, my personal conviction to continue to do what I do moving forward into 2015 to see where it takes me. This is very, very significant. Uh, and a long range call here I'm making for the spy to hit this number, but it is going to happen. And it's all from reading the institutional positioning in stocks in the market. And I know how to do that from my 26 point rating system. My 26 point rating system tells you what an institution is doing in the stock or the market before it does it. And that's how you know how to take the position. Because if you know how to take the position in something before the institution sells the stock or buys it, you will make money by getting in the right direction before the move happens. And that's how you get the movement, the momentum, the volatility, which pays you as an individual. And it's the only way you can consistently make money. The only way you can consistently make money in the stock market as an individual trader that does not have billions of dollars behind them like these institutions do is by determining what an institution will do, buying or selling the stock or the market before it happens. You do not make real money by doing it late or after it happens. You miss 80% of the move, your entry is terrible, the risk reward isn't there, the stop's too big, and you're too late. Or you're doing the opposite, like many people are doing here. They're getting out of the market when they should be going long. They are selling when they should be buying. They're shorting when they should be not shorting at all. And it's just amazing to me how incorrect so many people are the trade. Of course, that's why the people that know how to do it, like me, end up benefiting so well because there's more losers in the market than there's winners and there always always will be because the belief system out there for what is taught to traders that has existed for a long long time many many years uh, will always be out there and be taught widely and it's many of the information is not correct but it'll always be that way it will actually always be that way so what I'm doing here is very specific uh, very forward thinking and very unique and very edgy for the people that hear me and see me and something that I say resonates with them. They will come to me and learn how to trade and uh, have the chance to be successful because what I know here in this 26 point rating system just is really terrific. So markets higher and we'll see where it does in the next week. Have a great trading day, everyone, if you're trading. Be careful if you are trading or take it easy, take a break, and enjoy your holiday. And Merry Christmas from Melissa and the Stocks Wish LLC. Have a great holiday, everyone. Beautiful call here that the Stocks Wish made in the market. Any questions or if you're interested in the upcoming Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.